Well, that was painful. Y- yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> well, 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 first, before we do get into the game, I do want to congratulate the Buffalo Bills and the Bills fans. You right. guys stepped up. You guys balled. You guys defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers. You guys came to play, and you guys won the game. I tip my cap to you. Right. Gave us a second straight loss. Uh, we started 11-0. We are now 11-2. and We are still in good position. 11-2 and is a great record to have. So, I mean, honestly, at the beginning of the season, can you say that you thought this team would go 11-2? and Probably not. Definitely not. I didn't expect this. And, and I will say, before we get into the actual game, the Pittsburgh Steelers did indeed clinch a playoff spot for the first time since 2017 today when the Miami Dolphins lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Pittsburgh Steelers are guaranteed January football. Cool. Great. It's been two years since we've been to the playoffs. Yes. But However, if you come out with a performance like t- tonight... It uh, doesn't fucking matter. No. It, 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 honestly, you're not going to go far. You're not going to go far at and all. And if this does keep up, I don't expect us to go far. No. I don't. There's just no adjustments. There's no improvement from this team, specifically the offense. There's really no game plan. Now we there can, is none. Now we, we can sh- easily blame Fickner. I do think a start or starts with Fickner. Oh, it starts at the top. But it starts it, with the coach. It, it doesn't help that receivers can't catch the ball. It doesn't help that we can't establish a rushing game whatsoever. It can't help that offensive line can't block. And also for, doesn't for anything. And it also doesn't help that Ben is indeed, and he's been doing this lately, he's forcing passes. He is forcing too many passes, and it happened with those two interceptions. One being a pick six. Yes, at the end of the first half, which pretty much sealed our fate. It did. It, it literally it sucked the momentum and the life out of us, especially on the defense. Right. It also doesn't help that we keep going with the short passing game. We keep going with the quick passing game. We've done it all year. It's so predictable. It worked early, but once you once defenses have film to study – and you do it all game every fucking week, it gets predictable. And thus, you can't get anything. The Steelers haven't scored 20 points in the last three games. I, th- I really don't know what to say. It's a, it's I don't a really full know collective think. effort that is not good. Ben is playing off. He threw two interceptions today. He did not look great today at all. Both interceptions were absolutely idiotic from Ben, and definitely on Ben, especially the second one. Washington had B- Wallace beat. Ben just on it through the pass. Yep. I don't know what it is with Ben. I don't know if the the people saying that he can't throw it deep is true. I mean, clearly he can. He can throw it deep. He showed it earlier in the year. I don't know if his elbow injury is starting to bug him out. There's something underneath that we don't know. We don't know if there is... Something going on behind closed doors with the coaches, with the players, or with Ben and the coaching staff, Ben and Fickner maybe. I don't know. Maybe there is something behind closed doors that we don't know. Whether it's his injury, whether it's uh, uh, coaching or communications, I don't know. But Ben is not looking great. At least, at least this week. Last week he didn't look too bad, but you know, it, it seems... He didn't do enough. I hate to say it, it seems Ben is definitely part of the problem. Oh, no, it's, it's not just Fickner, all right? It's easy to blame Fickner, but it's definitely a full collective unit on the offense, and everybody on that offense and all, is not getting anything And, and it's, it's been that way the past two years, even when we didn't have Ben last year. It was still that way last year. We couldn't get a rushing game going last year. Uh, we had backup quarterback, sure, but also our receivers couldn't catch the ball still. Our offensive line was not the best. Of course, the, the play calling is still... The same as last yeah, year. Yeah, so it's like it's like a, it's, it's, it's it a complete th- replica from last year. Yeah, except, only except, Ben's in there. Yeah, but it's like it doesn't matter if Ben's in there or not. It's the same shit from last year. Yeah, the offense can't get anything going, can't make plays, can't get into the end zone, and the defense literally has to try to fight for us. Yes, which honestly they can only do so much, especially when they have their starting inside linebackers out, their starting number one corner out, guys are are, are just dropping like flies. That can be the same for the offense. Because our offensive line had Fuller out. Uh, Dotson came in. He went out. Uh, we had to deal with uh, Hazenur at left guard, I think. Chucks got hurt. We had to put in uh, Gerald Hawkins. I think Chucks came back in. But, dude, these injuries just keep piling up. I don't know if it's because of the tough, limited schedule that we have or what. But 
It's not looking good for the it's Steelers. It's painful. It's it's not. Guys are dropping like flies. Nothing's going great, especially on the offense. No. Like, this team is really not in a good position. Yes, we made the playoffs. Big whoop. At this point, who fucking cares? Because if this shit continues to happen, it's not going to matter. We're going to go one and done. Unfortunately. Yeah, because the, I hate to say it, but well, right now it looks like it's, it's the fucking truth. No, because there's no improvement. There's no adjustment. There's no halftime adjustments. There's no improvement from week to week. There's still consistent issues. There's no improvement. Receivers still can't cast the ball. We still can't get a rushing game going, even though we had James Conner back. He only had 18 rushing yards on 10 attempts. That's it. That's it. And we got Pouncey back, too. Both additions did nothing. They literally did nothing. The offensive line can't block. We keep going with the short, quick passing game, which is becoming incredibly predictable for defenses, which is why we can't get nothing going, which also explains why we can't get the rushing game going, which is why we're also getting fucking turnovers or giving away turnovers. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess. It's a mess. It's a headache. It starts like, at the top. Yes, it does. Because the coaching is not helping at all. Victor still needs to go. We said this last week. We went on a complete ran, ran on him last week. We could easily say the same. We're, oh, ba- we're, say- we're saying it every week. We sound like broken records because we're saying it every but week. But it needs to happen. But L- listen, Ben not- th- threw it 37 times, okay? And I get the Bills. And I'm not taking anything away from the Bills defense. They came to play, and they did what they did. And right. They, they helped them win. But Ben threw it 37 times against a questionable uh, Bills secondary. But you're only going to run it 17 times. You have no game plan. You have no balanced offense. Well, and because you're going to be run at seventeen t- uh, only seventeen times per game, you haven't been throwing too many goddamn times. And most of the times they're dinks and ducks and short passes. And of course, defenses are going to read that, and Ben's going to be throwing turnovers. Of course, which is exactly what which is hurting there. our offense, and that's because Fickner has no game plan. And that's even hurting the defense because when you do this fucking short passing game, three and out. Three and out. Three and out. Defense is always on the fucking field. They can only do so much. In the first half, they pretty much kept us in the well, Yeah, they kept us in the game. They pretty much shut down that Bills offense. But once that But picks, the offense got nothing going. No, they didn't. They got one touchdown off of a turnover to James Washington. Get him involved more, by Please. the way. He he's like the only one that's doing anything. Cause really? Because De- Deontay Johnson dropped like three fucking passes the first two drives. Then he was benched for Washington, and look at that. Washington gets a touchdown again. So start playing Washington more. But that was about it in the first half. Then once that pick six happened, that sucked the life out of this entire it did. team. It, again, it sealed our fate. It really did. I'm really getting sick and tired of the Steelers' offense. It gives us a freaking headache every single week. And, yes, we sound like broken records saying it. Repeating Weekend. ourselves all the time, but Fickner needs to freaking go, okay? Fickner. You're, he's not using his talent to the best of his ability. How the fuck Literally. do you have a guy like Chase Claypool, a rookie wide receiver, Chase Claypool, who has had 10 touchdowns in his first 10 career games? In the past three weeks, he hasn't even been used about 50% of the goddamn yeah. time on the field. And let's not forget when Ben threw that second interception when he underthrew towards James Washington. Uh, Chase Claypool was not on the field one time. We were down by two scores, and Chase Claypool was not on the field one time. We ran the same play two straight times, which was a screen pass with no protection to Jalen Samuels. The first time, Ben overthrew it. So we did the exact same thing the next play, and Samuels got six points. Why the fuck are you playing Jalen Samuels when the game is on the line? You're trying to drive down the field. Chase and the one time you actually do go deep, it's on a third and short. Without Chase Claypool, by the way. So this offense is just a collective mess. Nothing is going right. Nothing is... No, nothing positive is happening. Not one positive. Not one good thing. I can't think of anything. Throughout the past three weeks, nothing has happened. No. It's the same shit. Our it, offensive it's... coordinator, he can't think of a game plan because all he can think of is a double cheeseburger. <laughs> or when to take his nighttime bed pill. Right. Uh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Fickner has to go. I know we say it all the time every week, week in and week out. We sound like broken records, but seriously, he needs to go. Needs but to the happen. sad part is he's not going to go. You, you want to know why? And listen, I love Mike Tomlin. I do. I have supported him since day one. And the this these next few weeks will determine if he is coach of the year. But he, like, how do I explain it? He has too much trust and in faith. his guys. He has too much like, trust like, and faith. Like, he, he can never 
like step away from his guys. You know what I mean? Like he's done it with his players before, but especially his coaches. A guy like Randy Fickner, he has experience with. A guy like Keith Butler, he has experience with. He's playing all buddy buddy. It's time to stop playing buddy buddy and start fucking either lighting a fire under their ass or at least firing them. You need to put you need to put relationships beside you and do what's best for the fucking team and best for business. It's been my biggest fear for honestly all year. It's something I've been. It's been our biggest fear for the past decade. Why the fuck do you think we haven't gotten to a Super Bowl I yet? I know. See, that's that's something I've been hiding all year. Is that I knew that I, I I love this team. I know this team has so much potential. I know this team can go back to the Super Bowl. No the doubt. amount of talent we have. No doubt. There's you no look doubt. at the, you look at this team. No doubt we can win the Super Bowl. No but, freaking doubt. But my biggest fear is that this coaching staff will let us down once again. And honestly, these past few weeks has been showing. And the past few years have been showing. Look at 2018. Right? right, we won. What, what was it? Seven two one. We finished nine six one. The final stretch, we didn't do shit. Right. Last year, somehow we went eight and five. Right. I give praise to Tomlin for that, but we lost the last three games. One of them being the fucking Jets. Now look at us. We lost two straight. We went eleven and zero. But no, I agree with you. It's, it's it just frustrates. I, how I don't like to reflect on the past. I really don't. When we when we got to look into the future and and the promise that this team has, but. You know, when you look at the past and you look at this current coaching staff and what they have underwhelmed the last few years, it could be a repeat. That's I mean, why. I that's mean, why. It's, that's it's, why we bring it up. It's usually the same players with some new additions, some rookies, some free agent signings. They look good. They play good. But when it comes down to these type of big games, the coaching staff doesn't show up. No, and it hasn't done that for years now. And in my honest opinion, if this happens again, I wouldn't be surprised. And at at this, this point, I would probably laugh. Well, at this point, this team needs to start showing some actual adjustments. This team needs to start showing some actual improvement. Because this is their last chance. It really is. This We need to start seeing some improvement from this coaching staff, from this team, from the players, all the way down. This amount of talent. You went 11-0. If we can get the defense at least somewhat healthy, if we get Vince Williams back, if we get Spillane back, um, hopefully Hayward's Hayden. good. Hayden, of course, this defense can take us places. But we just need this offense to step up a little more. Please. That's all we ask. Like, play some goddamn actual fucking football. Because right now you're not. It's the pr- yeah, it's two straight losses, yes. That's, right now, it looks like nothing. We're only 11-2. and two. We're in the playoffs. But it's the, con- it's the constant issues that are shown week in and week out. And there's no improvement. We haven't scored 20 points on offense the last three weeks. It's extremely frustrating, and at this point, not just me and Dan, but I'm sure a shit ton of Steelers fans out there are getting sick and tired of this. It's going to be a repeat of how we are in the playoffs the past decade. We're getting sick and tired of it. Seriously. I I, I don't want to give up hope yet. No, of course not. Because I'm still optimistic. I don't, think, after I, everything we said, we are still optimistic. I, don't get us wrong. I still think this team can go far into the playoffs if we do indeed get healthy and improve. On these mistakes, on on these obvious issues, because I know we can. It's obvious. We went eleven oh four reason. I don't really know what else to say. I think that's just really just about it. Bills, congratulations! You guys are, you knocked the Patriots out of the division title. Now they're no longer going to win the division title. You guys are pretty much the top dog in that AFC East right now. Good for them. You definitely earned it. You guys are a hell of a team, playoff team. Right. You definitely earned it. Will we see you back in the playoffs? It depends. We'll see. But congratulations. We'll see. To my hats to you. They beat us two straight years on Sunday football. Ain't that a bitch. It is a bitch. It hurts, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can rebound. Hopefully this can be another wake-up call. And hopefully we can actually play some good damn uh, December Pittsburgh Steelers football that we tend to do. Which we obviously aren't showing right now. We raise hell here in December. (laughs) We ain't raising hell right now. We're in hell. And it sucks. it, It sucks. Yeah, it does. That's the vid. This team just got it. It's just uh, it's obvious they got it. They got they got. Yeah, get I mean, we said what they we just got to improve. Not not get worse. They got to improve. I don't know how you can get worse. All you can all you can do is really improve, and I just hope they do. Yeah. That's the vid. Hope you guys enjoy. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. We're eleven and two. We got the Bengals coming up, man. Yep. Uh, hopefully, we can actually get a win back, which we should. I mean, it's the Cincinnati Bengals, so. We'll see. We should get the win, but we'll see what happens. Let's know you guys' thoughts down below, man. Here we go, Steelers. Sucks we got the loss again. We got some clear issues we got to work on. 
Otherwise, uh, we're in for another depressing run in the playoffs because we are in the, officially in the playoffs. But let's tell you guys those down below, man. See you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace.